The visual direction for this game is very different. With each game, you know, we try to really reinvent the series and really take it a huge step further in uh, just the visuals, graphics, everything about the game. And a lot of that is a, a direct uh, reaction to the previous game. So Oblivion was more kind of standard European fantasy. And with Skyrim, we wanted to do something, um, you know, that just that kind of same feel wouldn't fit for this game. We want to do something that you were living in Skyrim. It is different. It is the home of the Nords. So everything is based off that. With Skyrim, we've come up with something we sort of internally call epic reality. And, and what that means to us is it's dramatic views wherever you go. With every you know, landscape region in the game, we, we try to, you know, to make it look amazing and unique. Um, but definitely the landscape overall is something that we're, we're pushing to, to get you that sense of epic reality, where you really are amazed at the, this world you're walking through. The character design in this game has been one of our biggest features we wanted to improve. Uh, we really tried to take that uh, in a, a whole new direction and put a lot more of our, our effort into the look and feel of the characters. Each race is much more unique than they have been in the past. Uh, we want you to look at the races and clearly say, oh, I know, that's a Red Guard, that's an Imperial, that's a Nord, that's a Breton. You can tell the differences between all the races. All the races are back. Uh, they've been greatly improved and there's a lot more customization. Uh, than we've had in any previous game uh, for you setting up your character or all the NPCs you meet. There's new systems for allowing decals and scars, uh, face painting, and just a lot higher resolution assets for generating all the, all the characters in the game. We really look to improve the creatures in this game. Uh, the main difference, I think, is we really tried to root them into this world. You should be able to look at a creature and know you know, it lives there and it makes sense to be in this location and it stands out from the other creatures and its behavior and, and why it's there. We like to balance things out so you have creatures that can you know, go all over the different areas of the world, some fit in dungeons, some fit in exteriors, um, but ultimately it's the world that sort of ends up defining who lives in it. Well, most of the ideas for the game honestly start taking root here in this room. Uh, we have everything drawn from creatures to weapons to landscape, dungeons, everything. It's all in here. We've done more concepts for this game than we have any other game we've ever worked on. We have lots of fun meetings in here where we're trying to figure out how everything looks and is going to work in the game. And it's a, you know, <clears throat> we all sort of work together on it. You know, Ray will be drawing something and then Todd and some of the designers and I will sit down with them and try and figure out what we want to do and, and how it's going to work in the game. Uh, but we really like to plan out as, as much stuff as we can as early as we can, so it makes it clearer for the team and, and what we're going to end up making. Um, if we don't have clear concepts, a lot of times we find we'll you know, go off in the wrong direction or spend a lot of wasted time on something that if we had a really strong image in the beginning, uh, we would have nailed it right away. So the concept piece Ray's working on right now is uh, one of the statues of, the, of a god in the game. And uh, you know, he starts with a, a rough sketch like this in Photoshop and then eventually you know, layers it up until we're you know, happy with it and, and know the look of it. And then once it's completed, you know, we'll pass it off to, in this case, one of the character artists and they'll start modeling it immediately. Uh, and then as soon as that's done, it gets textured and goes right in the game and then we look at it and you know, make sure it's working for the space. But uh, it's pretty quick turnaround from concept to you know, our tools to right into the, right into the game engine. We spend a lot of effort trying to make sure, like, all right, well, if we're making this sword or we're making this statue, what is unique about it to Skyrim, and why does it fit our world as opposed to just being, you know, a random fantasy sword or statue? Uh, it has to have something that's, you know, fits the universe we've created. I hope when uh, when people end up playing the game, when they finally get to see it and play it, that they'll just be, you know, drawn right in and really excited about it. Um, I hope that, uh, you know. They see the, all the hard work we put into it and, and really feel like it is a big advancement in the next you know, step in the Elder Scrolls and uh, just get really excited about it and have fun with it.